Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at IP version 6. Specifically within IPv6, we're going to be taking a closer look at OSPF version 3 summarization. And we're going to be configuring, verifying both OSPF v3 internal and external summarization. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and explain the network topology that we have. We have three routers in our network. We have router 1, router 2, and router 3. And you can see that we have two areas. We have area 0, and then we also have area 2. So again, area 2 consists of three loopback interfaces off of router 2. And then area 0 consists of the links between router 1 and router 2 which is the 12 network, the link between router 1 and router 3, which is the 13 network. So again, that's area 0. And then as you can see on router 3, we have three loopbacks that are going to represent external routes in our OSPF domain. So these routes are going to come in as external type 2 routes, and we're going to redistribute them on router 3 into OSPF process 1. So again these are going to be our external routes. We're going to show you how to summarize these using external summarization on router 3 and then on router 2 the routes from area 2 we are going to summarize those and send those summarized are that summary route from router 2 to router 1. And then again on router 3 we're going to summarize the external routes and send those external routes to router 1. Then we're going to verify all this on router 1 with some debug and show commands. So the first thing we need to do, let's go ahead and get our configuration started. Again, o summarization with OSPF v3 is very similar to how you would perform it with IP version 4 summarization. So there's just a couple of small differences and I'm going to go ahead and explain those as we go through the lab. So on R1, let's go ahead and let's create some of our interfaces. First, we'll create our loopback 0 with the 1 network. Again, this is going to be used for the router ID. Again, all of the routers, router 1, 2, and 3, are going to have loopback 0 interfaces with the IP address for router 1 is going to be all 1s, router 2 is going to be all 2s, and then router 3 is going to be all 3s. And we're going to make these slash 32 subnets. So let's go under interface fast Ethernet 00. Again, this is the link on R1 connecting to router 2. So we'll go ahead and give this the IPv6 address of 2001 12 12 12 double colon 1 forward slash 64 for the subnet mask. We'll go ahead and do a no shut. And we should be good on that side. So let's go under fast Ethernet 00. I'm sorry, fast Ethernet 01 and we're going to go ahead and give this the IPv6 